building an indie business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds. People on the internet call me Supreme Rumham, and this is the Building an Indie Business Podcast recorded in the Indie Business Studio. Okay, so today um, we're going to talk about how to sell digital products on Shopify. Yes. Um, yeah, so how to sell digital products on Shopify. Last week I did it on WordPress, so today we're going to do Shopify. Um, yes, so um, it's a little different uh, on Shopify. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but Shopify really caters to dropshippers, and dropshippers don't have any um, inventory. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the digital downloads app on Shopify. So, um, okay. How do you download an app on Shopify? Um, so you're at the homepage, uh, click the search bar. There's a product or no click apps. Um, and then just type in digital downloads and it'll pop up and it is made by Shopify. Um, yes. So you download that, let it load and, um, let's see, we're at the dashboard. Okay. Um, so you, all right. So now, um, you just create a product. So products, um, add product. And this is where it gets really weird because, um, there's no way it doesn't look like you can add a, a digital product. Um, so you just put your title in, uh, my title is going to be B A I B, um, podcast trailer. Podcast is spelled wrong, but that's okay because no one can see it. Um, I'm going to make it a draft, and then I'm going to save it. And I only put the title. Okay, and then it saves it and whatever. Um, and then now you have this little like corner menu option in the right. Um, it says duplicate, preview, share, more actions. You're going to want to go to more actions and add digital file. Um, upload file. I am uploading a M4A file. Okay. And then it's going to give you a bunch of settings. Um, download settings. So auto fill variant and then mainly create um, fulfillment. And the difference here is automatically create Fulfillments is fulfillments is only for MP3, and then manually create fulfillments is mixed goods, um, so like a CD and um, uh, a a CD and MP3. So since mine's just an audio file, I choose automatically create fulfillments, um, and then manually generated URLs. You don't have any URLs generated. So I'm going to click generate URL. Um, and then now there's a link. So if I click the URL, it's going to take me to um, a site where people can download the file. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's how you create the digital file and then you're going to want to go back to your product page um fill out all the information bab podcast trailer um can we also add the audio to the file let's check um insert image insert video insert table um no, it does not seem like it. Um, okay, and then you add file, and this is like a preview. 
So I'm going to just do the podcast trailer. Or no. The podcast um, thing. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Podcast cover. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Um, Oh, blue podcast cover. That's what it's called. It's loading. There it is. Um, Price is $19.99. Compare that price. I don't know what that is. Uh, So I'm going to click the question mark. To show a reduced price, move the product's original price into... To show a reduced price, move the product's original price into compare that. Enter a lower value into price. Okay, so this is if I have a discount. So I'm going to put $19.99. 99. Whoops, sorry. And then I'm going to put $5.99. Because, and they sell my tape for only $5.99, please... Uh, charge tax on this product. Nah, cost per item. Customer won't see this. It's digital product, so I'm gonna put nine ninety nine. Um, and it shows me the numbers. So, um, okay. So I'm gonna put one ninety nine. And now my margin is sixty six point eight. My profit is four dollars. Um, and that's because my I have a discount price, right? Um, now there's inventory. You don't need that. It says uh, track quantity. You unclick that. Um, you might have an SKU. You might have a barcode. Put those in. I don't have that. Um, and then shipping. It says this is a physical product. You're going to unclick that. Then um, this product has options like color or size. Um, no, it doesn't, right? So I'm still keeping it a draft product category. What's the product category for this one? It's probably, let's just do media. Product type, audio, collection. Uh, let's do podcast episodes. Okay, tag, audio. Um, theme, online store, theme, template, default. Um, okay, so now we save. And then we preview. And so what does that look like? All right, so... Um, exactly like I said, you see the audio category, the title, BAB Podcast, with um, two S's because I spelled it wrong. You see the five ninety nine because that's what you sell tapes for, um, with the nineteen ninety nine crossed out. Quantity. Um, then the tag is audio, and then you can share this. So if I click the Twitter button, what does it look like? Oh, I have to log into Twitter first. Okay, so let me log into Twitter. Okay, so it's just a link to the preview, not even the product, and then it says the the title, and that's it. Um. It says the title twice. I don't know why. Oh, no. It's the title and then the title or the the product description. Okay. And then this section currently doesn't include any content. Add content to the section using the sidebar. Um, weird. Sidebar. Hide bar. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. But okay. Um... Okay, so that is how you sell digital products on Shopify. Thank you for listening.
Have a nice day. Bye.